So in this video, I'll show you how to make your Linux computer run in headless mode so you can save precious system resources. Squeal, boy, squeal! Okay, so let me explain what we have going on here. Our ultimate goal is to make our computer boot simply to a command prompt. That way, we'll save system memory and resources. On my computer screen now, you'll see that I have a virtual machine running in VirtualBox of Ubuntu Linux. I have Firefox running in that virtual machine right now. Close it out. As you can see, the host name I gave is Darkstar. Now I have an SSH terminal open, and I'm actually SSH'd into, from my Windows, into this virtual computer. Let's see what our system resources say for how much memory is in use right now. Use the minus M for megabytes. We have 135 megabytes used. So now let's do a quick test and then change our run level. Saying what is run level? Well, in the old days, <laughs> right, we used to just boot into run level 3, which was multi-user plus networking. We booted up, we simply had a command prompt. As time went by, login managers came about, full desktop sessions came about, and we made a whole designation for them called Run Level 5, which is the computer boots up, it gets networking going, it starts system services, and then it boots up the graphical stack. The login managers like LightDM, we also have SDDM or GDM, we have a lot of DMs. <laughs> and then after that, after a person logs in, then they go into their desktop session. We have a lot of those too as well. So running at five obviously takes more memory because we're running more things. So let's drop down our run level to like the old days of run level three, see what kind of savings we have. Use the tell init command, sudo tell init three. Then I'm gonna type free my M as well. And we're using 83 mega RAM. So we've got about 50 megabytes of memory saved simply from just coming out of the graphical session. Now you look at the screen here and at first you're like, oh my, there's a flashing cursor. I don't know what to do. You're actually looking at a used virtual terminal that's being designated for only graphical applications to be run. What they really should do is... Uh, automatically change you to one of them that actually has some data on it, which I'm going to show you how to do now. So you press the Alt key down and you hit the arrow key. And if I zoom in here, you'll see right here it says TTY1 at the top. I can, we have seven of these. So I can go Alt, arrow, is for two, three, four, five, I'm using the right arrow, six, seven is for the virtual, uh, the graphical stack, and back to one again. And just like the old days, I can log in and do whatever I got to do. Okay, so there I am. I'm logged in. Control D will exit. That's the ultimate goal, is that your computer is going to boot up to the screen here. So, how do we do that? Well, let me just demonstrate to you that we could go back to before. To light, light DM and the desktop session running. Change over to 7. I have to start light DM because remember that got cancelled. There we have it. So we're back over again. Back in graphical. So now let's disable light DM. We're good. That way when we reboot the computer, light DM or whatever login manager you use, you have to just substitute accordingly. System CTL, disable light D. If it was SDDM, they use that, or GDM, you use that. And now when you reboot the computer, it'll come back up to that command prompt. For some reason, my virtual box doesn't like the reboot command. I have to actually issue power off. Should be here in a minute or so. There we go. Now it's starting up. And voila, there we go. Simple command prompt. And just to show you that we can SSH in. 
There we go, back at Darkstar. And we're using 87 Mega RAM. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.